This is Michelle. She's 15 years old. Her hobbies are drawing, playing musical instruments, and reading books. She's 10th grade at Orchland International School. She's also a member of the Blue Wolf hockey team. To up her game, she also trains in Jiu Jitsu at Garuda MMA Club. My name is Michelle and I'm 15 years old. I've been playing hockey for one year. The reason why I started playing hockey is like in Mongolia, hockey is a very like rare sport and most of the people doesn't really know about it. And when you think about like hockey, you, all, you only think about like only men plays. So like uh, trying out something new and unique and like different from other like cliche things is really Nice. Mm, recently, I just started Jiu Jitsu. It's like one type of a Brazilian judo like um, wrestling for a simply explanation, I guess. And I really enjoyed it. Um, Besides Jiu Jitsu, I like to draw and like to play some instruments such as ukulele and guitar. Um, my main goal was to actually learn to play electric guitar because I like um, rock music, kind of rock alternative music. So um, I thought like if you actually start from the easiest one and making it like get much better and better I think he will achieve like the biggest thing so I thought ukulele might be the first step to the electric guitar so that's why I started learning ukulele by myself and now I'm learning guitar by myself like if I actually get better at my acoustic guitar I might get electric guitar so I'm really excited I just recently started going to Jiu Jitsu about uh, three days ago and the reason why I started going to this practice is because I thought um, this might be a little bit of help for my hockey practice because this practice, um, Jiu Jitsu practice involves a lot of strength and acceleration um, exercises so I thought this might be um, helpful for hockey too and I noticed like pretty noticeable results after going to jiu-jitsu. Um, I really like my uh, noticeable results, so um, I will keep going to jiu-jitsu and hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, from my hockey team, I'm the only um, girl and there's also a one girl. Hello, my name is Silmoon. I'm 12 years old and I like to play hockey because all these people say that hockey is sport for boys but even for girls it's the best sport to play. And why I like hockey because it's fun and I like to play sports, especially hockey because on ice I can do anything even faster than running. It's a little hard to play with boys. Yeah, but I like it. And when I play with boys, I try my best because to play with them, it's, it's a bit hard. So it's a challenge for me too. Hockey, uh, hockey it's really uh, helps develop the kids as a team player because uh, hockey, uh, there's around 20 players that goes with the teams and uh, uh, helps the kids to grow as a team player, as a group worker. A lot of kids who play in hockey basically they don't get into trouble. So I do invite uh, parents to uh, start playing hockey. Uh, plus uh, you think it's cold but it's not. There's also like hard times that you can just want to give up but like your teammates will actually help you to not give up and yeah. Playing with girls uh, 
And playing with boys is a, a very different play because with girls it's much more easier to play because their technique and skating is not as good as the boys. Our team um, opened, I guess, like two or three years ago, and I joined uh, my teammates one year ago, and um, my coach actually found me when I was skating at Hunumav, and he said that, do you want to play hockey? I think your skating skill is kind of good and maybe <clears throat> um, suitable for hockey, I guess. And if you start playing hockey, I think you might be the first girl playing hockey in Ulaanbaatar. Uh, the main goal, it's a uh, main goal for hockey. It's uh, probably to have our kids in Mongolia uh, get healthier. Uh, I know we have many problems, uh, including smoke and political problems and uh, all this female basically telling us uh, we must have a winter sport in Mongolia. Yeah, he said, and I was like really interested. And when I actually <clears throat> searched hockey, um, I realized that hockey was really um, extreme sport with a lot of like body contacts. And uh, so we inviting all the female players who were interested. We have four rinks in UB. One of them in the third district. Uh, the second one uh, is here at the sixth school, 52nd school, and at the uh, Jukov, 15th district. So we're inviting all the female, uh, girls and boys, all from all ages, and it's uh, it's actually free to play hockey. Uh, our federation is trying to uh, provide with the equipment. Um, we're trying to not to charge hockey players. The sport of ice hockey has 50 years of history in Mongolia. The World Hockey Federation organizes tournaments at three different levels in Asia. Mongolian teams have been participating at the second level for the last eight years. During those years, they won four bronze and one silver medal. This year, the Mongolian team became the champions of the second level tournament and entered the next ranking. Mongolia came on top of 16 Asian countries and this is quite a big achievement for Mongolia. Um, I live with my parents and my younger brother and uh, my parents doesn't really make me go down because they always support me and they're always be there to support me and my younger brother and I'm really uh, appreciating that. And playing hockey is a little bit hard for a woman but I think it's like it has many advantages because it, it makes you more patient and makes you become more competitive and and it also helps for your proper body growth. First, it was a bit difficult because I didn't know how to skate that well. So, and I used to skate with my teammates, with boys from our te team, and it was good. I was really amazed by how good to play ice hockey was. Uh, for uh, beginners, we normally teach uh, just the basic of skating and uh, how to play, how to learn to play hockey, basically. Stick handling, uh, passing, and uh, a lot of like 80% of, I would say, uh, skating. It's very important for beginners, make sure the techniques and uh, for hockey, it's, they do it the right way. So um, the girls, basically, today, we're gonna do uh, half an hour practice on skating and then uh, sticking puck, basically shooting the puck and passing the pucks. Sorry. I look up to um, a woman hockey player. Her name is Hillary Knight, and she's an American um, professional hockey player, and she won a golden medal from Olympics. 
and she's the first woman hockey player who gets like um, salary by playing hockey. Yeah, it's really inspirational and motivational for the women players. Yeah, I think she's the first one that provided the hockey um, interest in girls. I think. Last uh, few years, last. Eight years, uh, it's been uh, great for Mongolian hockey men's team. We've been uh, participating in uh, Challenge Cup of Asia uh, hockey tournaments for Asian countries. And uh, we had a uh, full bronze medal, silver medal, and finally last year we had a, a championship gold medal. Also, we had a U20, under 20 uh, team, uh, also participated this uh, December in Malaysia and uh, we won a silver medal. Also, uh, we have play uh, a bendy, it's a uh, hockey on the soccer field. And uh, we won a silver medal last year from the World Championship. Uh, to have an infrastructure like this, basically we're playing on the hard, very frozen ice, similar to lakes or river. And uh, to compete against the professional uh, players, uh, we played against teams like Canada, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Germany, Japan, China, and we got a bronze medal. It's a huge achievement, and uh, hopefully uh, Mongolian government uh, will uh, uh, honor and think about it to building uh, maybe an a indoor rink for our future kids. It's, it's going to be really helpful. As a hobby, I like to draw uh, with watercolor and read some books during my free time and also like to play ukulele and guitar. And I learned ukulele and guitar by myself and um, the reason why I started drawing with watercolor is because I um, really like to read manga and watch some anime. So those two um, include a lot of drawings and that maybe attached me into drawing, I guess. Before I used to go to Jiu-Jitsu, my younger brother um, started Jiu-Jitsu um, first. So my dad recommended me to like want to go to this with your brother, and I never really think about it too seriously. So when I just went to his um, practice and watch him doing some exercises and practices of jujitsu. I just thought that it has like many advantages for uh, for me as like a hockey. So jujitsu includes a lot of like strength and acceleration trainings which is also um, can be a good strength for hockey too. So even though it's really hard to do by yourself and just even though it's like really hard and um, tiring, I thought it might be helpful for my hockey. And my dad also said 
Um, I think Jiu Jitsu is like a one kind of art that can actually help you to open yourself. And not only just that, I think um, as a woman you need to know how to um, protect yourself from any like violence. So it might be better for you to go start going to this practice, he said to me. So I was like, whoa, really? Yeah, I think so too. I think also like a individual skill um, improvement is really important to the hockey players, I think. They need to um, try by themselves, not like looking up to others. Oh, they need to do that for me. They're just bad or I'm really good. That's not it. You just need to improve by yourself. Even though you play with like team, yeah. And my coach said like, it's really important to um, make yourself like improve. And that's how you achieve for a success. My dream is to become a doctor and doctor needs to be really, really patient to its patients and requires a lot of patience from you. So I think these sports really help me to become more patient and tough as from as a perspective of emotion. So yeah, and also hockey is really beneficial for my future because um, I'm aiming to go to Canada for studying as a doctor so Canada is like is like the main country of hockey so it, it might be really beneficial for me to get into a college and universities. My main goal is to make Mongolia proud of like hockey players and want to let them know more about hockey yeah and also want to invite girls for to play this hockey yeah maybe after 10 years i might be like living at canada and studying at the university that i wanted to and get like part-time job <laughs> besides my studies and might have my like own apartment to live, yeah, I guess. And also like playing my hockey still at the um, university's hockey team, maybe. Um, one thought actually struck my mind and it was like why a woman can't play hockey why like only men have to play hockey instead of girls and I really wanted to make sure that gender equality is important to both um, genders so yeah that's why my coach actually want to um, make a proper like National Mongolians national woman team, and he's aiming for the um, 2019 April um, international hockey um, competition. So we're practicing for that at the moment. Uh, for hockey, we normally play uh, with 20 players and two goalies. Uh, second goalie, it's just for uh, reserve, just in the case if it gets injured. Uh, we play two uh, players on the back, two defense and three up offense. And uh, uh, in, uh, in hockey, with uh, playing uh, ice hockey, we uh, change like uh, quick uh, shifts, 30 second shifts. So we have four lines. Uh, hockey and the bendy, we play uh, 11 players, like uh, similar to soccer. Uh, it's more like into endurance. So you have to skate 90 minutes on the bigger field. You have to show endurance. In this hockey with puck, on ice hockey, you have to be very uh, quick and uh, short shifts. So. When you play hockey, I think it helps you to have more connection with other peoples, and it gives you more like com communicating skills also. Uh, the one thing I really uh, start uh, uh, dislike about the hockey is hockey is getting it's very expensive to play. Uh, specifically in Mongolia, 
you have to buy a lot of equipment, hockey stick, and uh, you have to wear a lot of stuff. Um, hockey helped me to get really organized. Uh, when you play hockey, you will just set a one or two small goals for yourself. For example, like I will make one goal or I will score one or two goals. Um, this actually is really advantageable for the life skill. Yeah, makes you more organized and time managed. The salary we have today, it's not uh, affordable for our kids these days. So I want to say thank you for all the sponsors. Uh, Mongolian companies, uh, also foreign, uh, foreign uh, nationals who works in Mongolia, they really help us. Specifically, Canadian Embassy, Czech Embassy, Russian uh, Embassy. Uh, just last uh, summer, we have uh, uh, invited a Russian uh, hockey president, Vladislav Chityak. Um, you know, he's working on the uh, indoor rink also. Uh, a lot of foreign people, uh, they basically help the community and helping the Mongolian kids. Uh, and uh, Canadian Embassy specifically uh, shipped out the full container of uh, used equipment uh, from Canada and uh, we already distributed to almost to 20 different rinks that we have in Mongolia and uh, including skate sticks, uh, hockey pants and a lot of stuff so just want to say thank you to everyone who loves hockey and helping our kids uh, stay healthy. And to the like viewers that is watching like hockey, um, hockey by television, I think they will just kind of get like excited just by seeing the play. Yeah, I think they just can't stand still sitting on their chairs. They will be like jump and stand up. Yeah. In Mongolia, like there's a lot of like anime such as like Avatar, Naruto, One Piece that that always goes on on the television with Mongolian dubs and yeah I like to watch them too. At my age around four or five um, the internet and like technology didn't really um, develop enough so there wasn't Wi-Fi so I just watched Naruto by CDs and I had a lot of them. Jiu-Jitsu wrestling was introduced in Mongolia in 2007. This sport separates into two categories, sports Jiu-Jitsu and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and is one of the fastest developing sports in the world. Sports Jiu-Jitsu was developed in Japan. Sports Jiu-Jitsu was developed in Japan since ancient times, and as for Brazilian version, it took root in 1900s in Brazil. Japanese Jiu-Jitsu allows kicking, punching, and grappling. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is more popular in Mongolia and is rapidly developing as a sport. However, Mongolian Jiu-Jitsu Wrestling Federation teaches both techniques in their system. Mongolian athletes won two bronze medals at the World Championship, two bronze and two gold medals at the Asian Championship in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu category. Additionally, they have won two gold and two silver medals from the Masters World Championships organized in the United States of America. 2010. I have a younger brother and his name is Dodgeball. He's been going to Jiu-Jitsu for about a two years now, I think, and he's going to compete in the um, national um, competition of Jiu-Jitsu um, soon, so he's practicing hard. And I think it also helps to um, prove that women's are not uh, worse than like men's. It also helps to increase the um, women like rights. 
yeah, they, yeah, like gender equality. Right now, I think Mongolian situation is really serious right now, I guess, because the government isn't really stable and the um, air pollution and other pollution and also like traffic is really, really increasing at a really high rate. And for me, um, I really want to um, make my Mongolia have no like gear district. And instead of gear district, um, I want to make Mongolia like really organized and well used the spaces that Mongolia have and like instead of like gear district there need to be like a apartments and also like villages which is really well organized so I think if we actually turn the gear district into like well organized um, apartments and houses I think the air pollution might um, go down as well and I think like the government should need to know how to um, control the um, traffic and build more um, roads for the cars. Yeah. First day was really challenging, but the day after that wasn't really bad, and I started enjoying this because I knew that this um, practice will be really helpful for my um, hockey practice. So that's why I just um, challenged myself into this practice. You wanna sing the words wrong? Is this movie that I think you like? Okay, today we're living in the 21st century, of course, and it's a really um, like nice generation which provides you a lot of like information. You can get any information that you like from anywhere, so, like such as YouTube or Facebook, like social media. So I started learning ukulele from YouTube by watching videos. It's becoming, for my opinion, it's becoming more challenging for the next upcoming generations. So, um, for this like generations, people need to work hard and become a really good um, profession people to um, develop our country to make the next generations. Um, I have another practice after this, so I have to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>